Okay, so I was installing the um, the sheeting, and then I noticed something that um, if you look at the plans, and this is what's in the instructions. The instruction says to go ahead and do the sheeting, and then the last thing you do is put in what they call the webbing, which are these W10s, and these are just a little pieces of um, the little pieces of sheet sheet balsa that fit in the wing and um, fill up these these open spaces to give you a little bit more strength. Well, the interesting thing is, is that they want you to sheet. The instructions to go say, go ahead and do the sheeting and then put in the webbing. But if I did that, I wouldn't be able to put in this piece of webbing right here. It would have been covered up. So what I'm gonna do, and here it is right here, is it's these pieces in here. So if I did this, if I cover this entire thing with the sheeting, I wouldn't be able to obviously put, put these in. So I'm gonna go ahead and there's five of them that go out from both sides. There's five on each on each uh, wing, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those um, go ahead and put that webbing in right now, and then get back to the sheeting. So that was just a small error in the instructions, but um, glad I caught it. All right, so here's our our webbing pieces. So this is gonna be probably one of the easiest steps in the kit to do. So they're just gonna kind of pop in, pop in there like that, and then we just gotta hit them with CA. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in here. Oops. I mean, do uh, you do have to press them up against the inside of the uh, of the spars that are in here, right in here? So I'm gonna press them up and then I'm gonna hit them with the CA. I'll do this one here now. I'll go from the side. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and complete these on both sides, and then um, we can start doing our, our sheeting, to finish up our sheeting. I do have a few minor gaps in some of these, um, in some of the webbing locations. So I'm going to go ahead and use a some thick, thicker um, CA. This is just a gap filling CA, and for like sort of like hairline or or really thin, thin um, gaps, something like this is really good to use. Um, it's going to hopefully span that little gap. I could use sort of the baking soda method also, but um. This also works for the, the real small stuff. I'm just gonna hit each side of the, I'm so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, hit, hit each one of these little seams with my gap filler. As I said before, this kit really goes together nicely. It's really was nicely constructed. Um, things just fit really nice. Okay, so we got this side finished with our webbing.
Okay, so we got the uh, the webbing in, and that was probably it's got to be one of the easiest steps of uh, of the build. So that went in pretty smoothly, nothing too exciting, but it was nice. That's finished up now. So now I'm going to go ahead and get back to the the sheeting of the of the center.